West Virginian reportedly saw a winged creature in 2008, posted on April 5th, 2021 by Appalachian Oddity. In 2015, while in high school, my classmate Brandon told me that he reportedly witnessed something bizarre in West Virginia back in 2008. The conversation began when he noticed the Mothman books I was reading in the school library. Brandon said that what he saw was similar to the Mothman in appearance. I took interest in his story and interviewed him about it while writing down what he told me in my notepad. The following is his supposed sighting as he related to me. He claimed that the story was completely true and without exaggeration. It was a rainy night in 2008, and due to the storm there was a power outage in Brandon's small West Virginia community. He was getting hot in his house with no air conditioning, so he decided to go outside onto his back porch to cool off. While standing there in the dark, he saw the glow of two red eyes staring at him from the bottom of a nearby hill. The wooded hill was just beyond the creek that separated the woods from his backyard. Various tools and items cluttered his backyard porch, including an old axe. Brandon reportedly grabbed the axe and threw it at the creature. It made a shriek and ran off, he told me. I asked Brandon if maybe it could have been some kind of ordinary animal, such as an owl, but he said it stood too tall and had large glowing red eyes unlike any typical wildlife. With it being nighttime, raining, and at a distance away, it is very possible for him to have been mistaken in what he saw. Yet Brandon was very confident in his sighting, and told the story in a very matter-of-fact way. When he was standing on the hill, I saw the lightning strike, he said. It lit him up, and I could see his wings. My classmates said that he had since moved from the location where he saw the creature. Brandon himself believed the winged oddity to be none other than the legendary Mothman of West Virginia folklore. While it can never be known for sure what really happened that night or what he saw, I consider the story to be one worth sharing. If you or someone you know has experienced anomalous phenomena in the Appalachian area, please contact me via my email, AppalachianOddity at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, and mountaineers are always free.